Yo, what's cracking, everyone? Eric Ship Triple One here. So, for the past few weeks, some of you over on my Instagram have been direct messaging me a link to an article about Forza Horizon 6. Yes, that's right, Forza Horizon 6. And the main title of the article reads, Forza Horizon 6 would be the last game of franchise coming in 2025. Now, the funny thing here is that I have actually read this article back in late August of 2022 when it was first published. And the whole article was based from a tweet that was made by a user called Moet underscore gaming, stating that rumors says that Forza Horizon 6 is the last Horizon game. It will be set in Japan and will release in 2025. The game will release on the Xbox Series X and S consoles along with the PC and will be available on Xbox Game Pass on day one. Now, I have no idea how credible this Twitter user is when it comes to leaks or his sources, but honestly, when I first read this article a few months back, regardless if the information was true or not, I pretty much just brushed it off saying, Really? There is so many different locations Horizon has yet to explore. It's one of Microsoft's biggest cash cows. There's absolutely no way Forza Horizon 6 will be the last in its series. However, since August, a lot has changed. Coincidentally, right after that article was published, we got some of the worst updates in Horizon 5, like the Donut Media Story, Morris Minis and Travelers being introduced as new weekly reward vehicles, and the highly anticipated 10-year anniversary celebration under delivering. Not only that, creative director for Playground Games Mike Brown and several other major figures from Playground Games leaving the team to start their own gaming studio too. All of a sudden, the idea of Forza Horizon 6 launching in 2025 and being the last game in its franchise doesn't seem as far-fetched as before. Judging by your comments about Forza Horizon 5 in my videos, reading the official Forza forums along with the feedback from all of Forza's official social media pages, it's evident that the community is not happy with Horizon 5 and has been on a steady decline for quite some time now, whether it's the buggy launch, to the terrible multiplayer experience, to inaccurate car models or the cheaters on the leaderboards. It's the accumulation of many things that has led the community and Horizon fans to pure disappointment. It seems rather clear that once Horizon 3 was touted as one of the very best open world racing games to ever be made and taking over Turn 10's Forza Motorsport in terms of popularity, that innovation and the drive to make the Horizon series even better by adding on what worked in previous titles just simply vanished. During the life of Forza Horizon 4, I remember saying, if Playground Games don't listen to their most loyal players and get their act together, this franchise will eventually end up like a Call of Duty and ultimately be put on life support, as this was during a time when Horizon 4 introduced silly clothing items in the wheel spin rewards and that there were more novelty stuff for your character to customize than cars alone in the game. Now, there were a lot more problems I addressed, and I feel as though many of them would still be applicable today in Forza Horizon 5. Now, I'm not a fortune teller, but if Playground Games and Microsoft are going to launch Forza Horizon 6 with the same problems and the same bugs and issues, one way or another, Forza Horizon 6 will be the last in its series. So here are some of the scenarios should Forza Horizon 5 be the last in its series and there's quite a few to talk about so buckle up. Scenario 1, should Forza Horizon 6 either launch in 2024 or 2025 and we still get clothing items in wheel spins, still have many cars removed from Horizon 5 only to be drip fed back into Horizon 6 as a festival playlist reward and locking them as timed exclusives when they could be purchased through the auto show in previous titles, online convoys not working properly at launch, same recycled car models that desperately need to be changed from Forza Motorsport 1, the same Forza Aero wing design, cheaters still plastered all over the leaderboard and so on, players will undoubtedly stop playing the new game after a few months because other than the location, it will essentially be the same unpolished game for well over half a decade now and majority of the community will eventually just come to the realization that nothing is being heard or addressed and well, 
they move on. If we take a look at another massive franchise by Microsoft, Halo, from the first title to Halo 3, the series was amazing. Then three titles later with Halo Infinite, launching with only half of the game ready, taking their sweet time to release the campaign, which ended up being a huge disappointment as it was so short. Look at where Halo Infinite is now. And that is where I worry with Forza Horizon 6. If this series somehow gets to that same level as Halo, essentially sitting on life support, regardless if it's backed by Microsoft or not, the series will not continue. Sure, they might release a Horizon 7 or Horizon 8, but just imagine if this series gets to a meme level where under the YouTube comments of their reveal trailers, people are just writing down same game, just different map, or get ready to not play with your friends for the first few months, or I can't wait to see the same old recycled cars again. And whenever they would stream their festival playlist, barely anyone would watch them anymore. Honestly, just thinking about that makes me quite upset, and I really hope that it never happens. Scenario 2, anyone remember a racing title exclusive to Xbox by Bizarre Creations called Project Gotham Racing? They were once the main racing title for Xbox from 2001 and made four iterations including two for the Xbox 360 with PGR3 being a launch showcase title for the 360 and number four being its final game after Forza Motorsport was released. Now to me, I always thought Project Gotham Racing was a very decent arcade racer and that their very last title they made was quite solid. But sadly, Bizarre Creations was bought over by Activision and essentially shut the studio down just a few years later after their acquisition. And for over a decade now, Project Gotham Racing is presumed to be discontinued. Now, let's assume that the tweet we showed in the beginning of today's video was factual. What if Playground Games is in early negotiations right now with a major publishing company like Activision and is once again wanting to buy out Playground Games? And they are currently offering a deal to Microsoft that is very difficult to refuse. Who knows, maybe that's why six of the major Playground Games employees left. Now, of course, we know that Playground Games is also currently working on the reboot of Fable right now, so it's highly unlikely that this scenario will be the case but still, just something to consider. I mean, if Project Gotham Racing can be discontinued, who's to say Forza Horizon can't be either? Or Scenario 3. What if, in the year 2025, Forza Horizon 6 is set in Japan? It's the Horizon game majority of the community has been waiting for. The map is designed beautifully. It's everything we wanted. All the bugs and glitches are gone. Online convoys work seamlessly. There's new car models being replaced and the catalog of new to Forza cars and upcoming cars for the foreseeable future looks amazing. No more stupid cheaters invading the top of the leaderboards, incredible car customization and a good campaign. Basically, it's the best Horizon game since Horizon 3, and after a 13-year run with the Horizon franchise, Playground Games have decided to end it with a huge bang, leaving all Horizon players satisfied with more to desire. And although there will be constant updates for Horizon 6, there are no more future plans to making another Horizon title. But to the fans, the game is so great that after 3, 4, or 5 years, Perhaps maybe even the next generation of consoles has already been released and everyone is eagerly hoping that one day Horizon 7 will make a return. A Forza Horizon send-off is certainly possible too and you know, if it was to end like this, I would be very happy to be a part of the entire Horizon journey through all the ups and downs as an entire arc. If I have to be completely honest, I don't want the Forza Horizon series to end. But what do you guys think? Will the next game be the last? Let us know down in the comment section below. I do read all of your comments, guys. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy this video, please make sure to smash the thumbs up button as it really does help me out. And of course, if you guys would like to stay up to date with everything Forza Horizon 5 related, be sure to subscribe to my channel with notifications on so that way you won't ever miss out on another video that goes live. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.